What is going on everybody? I am here with some more Resident Evil 4. Last time we've completed the main game and then we've got some a lot of extras that I've explained before. And some uh, cool things that you get when you actually finish the main campaign. As you can see, a new um, outlayer, well, a new background and then a couple of new weapons when you defeat the main game. And now we're going to do a separate main mission, which is of course separate ways that uh, sees through Ada's point of view and what uh, she had to do and what was her own points in Europe. So we immediately gonna get right to it. The only reason I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I'll have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. I see you've managed to arrive at the village on time. Yes, but nobody remembered to roll out my red carpet. The villagers there are all being controlled. They automatically attack any intruders. Ring the church bell. That should quiet them down for a while. Hmm. Sounds like they're good, obedient boys and girls. Unfortunately, time is not a luxury we have. Gather as much information as you can about the parasites and finish off this little tour. So chapter one, ring the church bell. So now, uh, Ada was in the same place as Leon. Uh, as you can see, there's Leon running. Now, if we had in our inventory, we have the a back tail, which is the pistol, and a new weapon, which is the. Sh a uh, pump action shotgun, which actually looks different. This is only exclusive to uh, Ada's mission. Yeah, more exclusive to Ada. Oh, you can't get this anywhere else. Yeah, sadly, you cannot uh, uh, get this on the main mission, at, like on the main story where. Um, Where you play as Leon, sadly. And over here is a shotgun. This is a shotgun. I better leave it for Leon. Yeah, if we take it, then we could just be stuck with the pistol. Now, at time to time, you can actually see Leon running. Uh, on certain places. I think you can see Leon running. No, you can't see Leon. Yeah, it, it's impossible to actually bump into Leon because one, uh, we can't do that. Because uh, you're trying to hide away from Leon. So the game doesn't allow you to, to actually bump into him. Look 
Of course, we actually we've seen this cutscene already. Oh no! Here we go. Now I want to collect everything that uh, here as possible before I actually move on. And it's kind of and it's kind of cool how in the background you can actually hear uh, Leon shooting and Leon's grunts when he gets hit. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the uh, rooster or the uh, to uh, drop a uh, to drop that key. Take the insignia key. As you saw when in the main game, that was a little bit of importance. Now there's a couple more things to actually check before we move on. Just a couple items. I'm trying to uh, stock up as much as possible. Uh, the door won't budge. It feels like someone is pushing through against it on the other side. Yeah. I missed that spinal right there. I'm already getting injured the first time. There's so many of these guys. There you go, you can actually see Leon running. Now you could chase after him, but he's gonna uh, outspeed you. So there's no point of, of seeing him and then just um, trying to catch up to him. Yeah, you, you just want to collect as much stuff as possible and get the key item because a lot of a lot of the Ganados are just going to keep on spawning and spawning and spawning and you don't want that. I'm trying to capture a lot of stuff as possible. Yeah, let's use that egg. Doesn't matter. Shotgun shells and I got an elegant mask. Time to fight them. So we gotta keep moving. Welcome. Your selection. I'm not open yet, but as you can see, I don't have my blue torches set up. But I suppose the customer comes first. Sell me some treasures and buy some of my weapons. Of course. What are you selling? I'm not gonna sell the elegant mask. What so now uh, the merchant is here in the game. Uh, introduces like, like, introduces to, to him right away. As you can see, there are the treasure map. Because I don't have cash. I don't have enough cash for any of these, so I'm just gonna save up for a little bit. Come back any time. Damn it. 
So I need, I need to collect a little bit more treasure. And we can actually combine this now. Now the same thing with the merchants. Um, as we get further and further in into the story, uh, he will sell us more uh, weapons and items. I let them burn. Yeah, give me more monies. I need, I need more monies. So I could uh, get that treasure map. Oh, we got the green gem, which is uh, we could put in the uh, elegant mask. Now I gotta make sure that there isn't any items sitting on the top of the roof. I do want to fight these guys because I want them to drop uh, treasures or oh, money. Let's use the hand grenade. And they drop ammo, which is good. I need a lot of ammo as I, as I, as I can also. Because like I said, this is a Resident Evil game, and you never know when you actually need. Nice. Now, this should be a... Aha. Got my grenade back. Ah, the bird dropped. I can't do the secondary kicks yet. There we go. Let me just use the damn grenade. Nice. Get them out of the way so I don't have to waste so much ammo. Now we have seen this before. These are these are exign these separate insignia signs. Where's the other guy? Oh, watch! <laughs> I just walked right past him. And now we have the red gem, also for the elegant mask. There we go. Got them out of the way. Another red herb. What the? There we go. Now, hopefully, there isn't any more treasure around here. Get headshots here. Nice. I think we could uh, go inside there, but I think I don't want to just yet. 
It won't budge. Must be locked on the other side. Well, obviously, Ada. The three insignia signs, yes. So we gotta get this, uh, yeah, insignia sign. And if I remember correctly... And then one more time. There we go. Let me use the shotgun because it's, it's more effective. Now, one thing I do hate is that uh, Ada fires the shotgun from the hip. Now, as you can see, um, we have to we have, we have to put something else on there. Actually killed the guy that was actually coming up next to me. Now that's the one thing I don't like is that um, Ada fires the shotgun from the hip. But well, I can see why because um, there isn't um, a butt stock. Yeah, because there isn't there isn't a, a butt stock for this uh, particular shotgun. Ooh, I saw. I knew you were there. So we need that green cat's eye. So we can move forward. Now you gotta... Freaking pump so many rounds. There we go. So we got the green cat's eye. It won't budge. Something's holding it from firmly in place up on the other side. So we can't go forward past the uh, past that door. Now since we have the green cat's eye, we could replace it and get the uh, insignia keys. We could actually get into that church. Of course, they're going to close up. Put the green cat's eye in there. Yes. So that's how, uh, that's how the green cat's eye was there when we played as Leon. And what was for and what was weird was that um It was weird cuz how did the insignia key uh went all the way over there towards the uh, other side They're not dying over here. Headshot. Okay, got them out of the way. Now we can actually go inside. Now, do I... I thought I had a grenade. Take that. I'm 
I've got a flash grenade, but I need an extra weather grenade. And then we got the purple gem. We got all three to put it to the elegant mask. Because I'm not going to examine it because we've already seen it before when we played as Leon. Now, hopefully, uh, this doesn't happen to me again because I'll be really upset, which I'll explain a little bit later. Now, if you go through this door, or go near through that door, it won't open, it's locked. I can hear someone whimpering on the other side. Yeah, that is Ashley. Obviously, because of course she's been uh, trapped in the church. Now we gotta make a, back, uh, a backwards Exenia. Um, if I remember correctly. Ooh, so close. I think that's how you... No, I gotta do it again. I think it's, the green is like this. Nope. I think that's how it was before. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so close. Okay, I think I gotta do the red. Aha! Now hopefully this doesn't happen to me because the, the game usually freezes on this point. Okay, it doesn't it didn't freeze. Where's everyone going? Bingo? And we have to hear Leon's uh, jokes. Now that is chapter one of one. Well, that is well. That's the end of the first chapter. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta see this. Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family. Castellans for generations possessed the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. The organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission, and the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been there's no turning back now. So we now know uh, Ada's true objective is to get the sample 
for Umbrella, obviously. And this is just a, uh, a reading part of what she says. So you don't have to, like, read towards it. Now let's exit. I believe we could save. Yes, save. I'm gonna save. And uh, I'm gonna end it off here for now. So next time on Resident Evil 4, we're gonna continue on playing as Ada and reach towards our goal. Until next time.